Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. So your mains paper is completed for ESC uh, 22. Uh, I am discussing the solution of the problems which are being asked in this examination. So I will start off with the discussion. Uh, first, from 27 June to 30 June, 20% off is available in all the subscriptions. Now printed notes are also available for a plus and an iconic subscribers. Uh, you can avail them at 20% off. Then for GATE and ESC 23 and GATE and ESC 24, uh, on 29th of June, new batch is being launched. It is a bilingual batch. We will be starting with Geotech and PERT CPM. So the problem is of soil mechanics. Uh, it's a paper two. Very simple question, each number. So it says a pile group with 12 piles, each having a diameter of 0.5 meter and 30 meter long, supports a rough foundation. The piles are arranged in three rows. So piles are arranged in three rows. So Pile will be arranged in three rows. Okay. And spaced as 1.25 meter center to center. So 1.25 meter center to center. The properties of the foundation. So three rows, it means four columns. So properties of the foundation. Soil are given to you. Uh, gamma is given to you. Cu is given to you. Alpha is given. Uh, Dyson factor is given. Factor of safety is given. Determine the capacity of the pile group. So aim is to calculate the capacity of the pile group. Capacity is the pile group. Okay, the capacity of the pile group. Ki. So what is the information given? Information given is... So information given is number of piles are 12. Size of the pile is 0.5 meter. Length is given to be 30 meter. Spacing is given to be 1.25 meter. And uh, soil properties are given unit weight of the soil submerged unit weight so 11 kilo newton per meter cube cohesion is given 40 kilo newton per meter square friction is zero so it is in clay pure clay alpha is given to you alpha is given addition factor 0.85 and factor of safety is given to be 2.5 so these are the values given to you. You have to calculate the capacity of the group. So capacity of the group. So if I see the situation, uh, situation is somewhat like this. So it is placed in, it is saying in three rows. So three rows, it means it will be having four columns. So three rows. So piles are placed in three rows. So size will be different along both the sides the so size will be different along both the sides let us suppose this is uh, so let us suppose this is D and let us suppose this is B so I can say B will be how much or this was D so D will be how much you can say length and width also so D will be how much so 1 2 3 so 3s plus diameter and b will be how much it will be equal to 2s plus diameter this is center to center spacing so this is center to center spacing which is given to you so center to center spacing is given so we can calculate d so d is equal to 3s plus d so 3 into 1.25 plus 0.2 so it comes out to be how much 3.75 so 4.25 meter b is equal to 2s plus d so 2 into 1.25 plus 0.5 meter so this becomes 2.5 plus 0.5 so 3 meter so 3 meter so if i calculate the ultimate load carrying capacity of the so if i calculate ultimate load carrying capacity of the pile individual pile so it will be equal to CNC. So CNC into area of the pile. So area of the pile at the base. So area of the pile at the base. Plus alpha into average cohesion to surface area of the pile. So CNC. NC is 9. So 9 into 40 area of the individual pile. Pi D square by 4 plus alpha alpha is given to be 0.85 average cohesion 40 
सरफेस एरिया विल बी इक्वल टू पाई डी एल सो पाई इन टू डायमीटर पॉइंट फाइव सो पाई डी इन टू एल लेंथ इज गिवन टू बी थर्टी मीटर सो लेंथ इज गिवन टू बी थर्टी मीटर सो टू सिंप्लीफाइड टू सिंप्लीफाइड इफ आई सिंप्लीफाई दिस इट कम्स आउट टू बी वन सिक्स सेवन टू पॉइंट एट नाइन किलो न्यूटन लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल पाइप If I calculate the load carrying capacity of the pile group, so C and C into area of the group, so C and C into area of the group plus alpha into average cohesion into surface area of the pile group, so surface area of the pile group, so C is 40 and C is 9, so 9 into 40, area of the pile group will be B into D. So B into D, so three into four point two five meter. Alpha will be one. Average cohesion not given will be taken as forty. So now perimeter will be twice of B plus D into L. So twice of B plus D into L. So if I solve this, it comes out to be two one nine nine zero kilo newton. So capacity of the pile group. So capacity of the pile group. Capacity of pile group will be minimum of what? Minimum of load carried by all the piles. So load carried by all the piles to the factor of safety, and load carrying capacity of the pile group by factor of safety. So this will be equal to number of piles twelve into one six seven two point eight nine divided by two point five, and this will be two one nine nine zero divided by two point five. First comes out to be so first term comes out to be eight zero two nine point eight seven two kilo newton. Second term comes out to be eight seven nine six. Kilo Newton. So minimum of these two is 8029.872 kilo Newton. So this is the load carrying capacity of the pile group. So problem was simple. Simple सवाल इधर. ठीक है प्रॉब्लम चलिए